What it do, baby? English Friday, baby. We're back. Not only we're back, but we fly. Balling. No, it's not basketball, but you heard the word high because we're talking to a, a high jump, high sky thing, uh, dive, uh, cliff thing, not dying in the water. Well, she's awesome. Her name is Molly Carlson, and uh, love this girl. First of all, her smile is amazing. Uh, you cannot not smile when you see her. So uh, if you want to see her, uh, the image of the interview or some image of the interview, uh, you can go on our uh, Instagram page, Sans Restriction. Everything is there. Uh, we have a few clips of the of the pod over there. But uh, yeah, she's uh, she's so great. 2.7 million followers on TikTok. That's one thing. But the, uh, the best thing about her is she wasn't afraid to uh, to uh, just let it go. We, we, we laughed for 30 minutes. And uh, it's the first time we spoke to each other. Yes, we DM on Instagram. But it's the first time we spoke to each other face to face ish because of covid naturally everybody's back home but um yeah it was a good talk and i uh, love this girl um i want to say hi to our mom you'll know why when you listen to the pod and i want to tell y'all we're bringing them english fridays back man we we hey we told you that we want to do things bigger in 2022 we started in 2020 we did it okay. it was good it was i mean we're now at 160 something episodes so but now we're taking to a whole nother level and uh, our guests are a whole nother level and uh, molly is uh, is the, the proof of that so i'm very happy to have her on the pod uh, don't forget to follow us on instagram at sans restriction um if you want to buy some uh, sans restriction gear uh just go on uh, zonekr.ca buy yourself the crew neck everybody's wearing the crew neck hey i've seen nhl players wearing the crew neck i've seen I, i've seen hockey players wearing the crew neck tv hosts boxers people know man people know you wear that crew neck You let the world know what you've been listening to. You let the world know that you're in the Pod du Pep family. Because our community is a family. And that's why every single day we're giving some love to one person on Instagram. And wishing them a, 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 a great day. Because I love y'all. We're family. And now we're going to laugh and learn with our girl. Miss 2.7. <laughs> Molly Carlson, baby. Okay, so, so um, yeah, that's the way I start. I always start without telling people I start. <laughs> I'm so sorry about that. Uh, <laughs> I'm very happy to have this guest because uh, I have so many questions for her. She's the pride of the Seminoles. She's a pride of Team Canada. She's a, a, a Thunder Bay is her home. She's amazing. She smiles. She has 2.7 uh, million followers on TikTok. Like, I have a lot of questions about that too, but uh, <laughs> the, her best uh, um, quality is uh, she's a good person. I'm happy to to speak to her. So my girl Molly Carlson, how you doing? Oh, thank you for that intro. I'm so excited to be here. It's gonna be fun. <laughs> We're gonna talk about a lot of diving and swimming and drinking Red Bulls and stuff. <laughs> <laughs> Let's get into it. Okay, so now I need to know why the hell you're diving from so high why <laughs> what like why who did who made you do it <laughs> honestly i just wanted to be famous one day and <laughs> get me there <laughs> no um what people don't know about high diving is that it's actually like super calculated and you never go up there without having perfect physical and mental states being prepared. So a lot of people are like, why you just throw yourself off cliffs? I'm like, mm, I definitely practice for this, but it's such a dream to be up there and challenging myself every day with fear and bravery. So, yep. <laughs> okay, so we on the podcast earlier, um, I think it was last year, we received uh, Lisanne Richard, who's doing the, the same thing. She's doing Big Brother right now uh, in Quebec. <laughs> My little superstar. Yeah, she's on the, and she's good at it. I'm like, damn. But but uh, yeah. So so we she talked about it a little bit. But I want to, I want your perspective. You're 22 or 23 years old. Um, you didn't want to do anything else. Like uh, I don't know, being an astronaut, being a police officer. <laughs> like, why do you throw yourself out there? 
Oh my gosh. So I've definitely done the school route. I did my undergrad at FSU and yeah. now I'm actually in my master's um, for counseling psychology. Oh. And I think a big passion of mine is mental health. And when I was done my diving career, I was like, something's missing. Like I want to build a bigger platform so that I can share more mental health conversations. And the more you get yourself out there and show your lifestyle, the more people want to talk to you about their own experiences. And so to me, like keeping up with school, education, always learning and being there in the mental health community helps me be the better athlete that I can be. So It's so important what you're saying right now, because with everything going on right now with COVID, I don't know where you are right now, but here in Quebec, we're still in a curfew, right? We're still... Oh. <laughs> We're still in the curfew. <laughs> the uncle go go don't want to let us out. But 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 we've seen many athletes speaking out about mental health. So uh, what's your take on that? And do you wish it happened earlier so most of us would have benefited in the lower levels? I absolutely think. COVID is not the go-to situation. I was just in Dubai and I had to rush home to be in Montreal curfew. Mm. So definitely also frustrated. But um, I think it was such a good time for people to reflect on themselves. And it helped me kind of advance in that understanding of being still. You know, our life gets so fast-paced and yeah. jumping off cliffs is so like high energy that there's going to be crashes and there's going to be come down. So having COVID to kind of set me up to know how to come down from these highs really helped my world of traveling and being on yeah. tour and dealing with ups and downs and literally ups and <laughs> being up there and, and just facing fears. So I think, yeah, I think being able to bring COVID into our new conversation of mental health is really important. So sure. was, was, was that one thing you learned during COVID? I learned Italian. What was that one thing yeah. you learned? Oh my gosh, I learned really how to content create. Um, I had so much time on my hands and I was like, my, I got to keep training during COVID. So all I got to do was train and post videos about it. So I fell in love with TikTok and blew up on there. And here we are now. <laughs> well, you got, you got, you got 2.7 million people on TikTok. You got 2.7 million people on TikTok. <laughs> so how do you manage having 2.7 million people following your every steps? Oh, it's an interesting one. You know, like at the end of the day, the videos that made me grow to 2.7 million was sharing the behind the scenes journey of high diving and yeah. being up there and being vulnerable and being like, Hey guys, I'm terrified, but I'm going to do this, you know? And I think that's what made it so powerful was being myself on social media because before I was trying to be someone else and trying to post mm -hmm. bikini pictures and be like these models. And that's what I thought I had to be. And a lot of people think they have to be someone else on social media, but what makes you the best version of yourself and people want to follow is who you truly are. So that's what I definitely learned during this process. And I love my little 2.7 million friends. <laughs> that's crazy, man. I, I was like, going through because i don't go often on tiktok you know yeah. i got my little tiktok i'm at 12 000. it's not a lot but <laughs> it's it's too it's too much effort too yeah. much time how much time in your week do you put in your tiktok videos that's the thing like there's no boundaries like it's like i can <laughs> as like i'm literally coming home and i'm up till 3 a.m like i call it like learning and re like searching how to um, create better videos just by scrolling, really. But I'm like, yeah, I'm working by like learning about what I should be posting. And people are like, Molly, go to bed. Like, turn it <laughs> off, you know, and I, I think it's like I'm so addicted to sharing what I go through in a day that I also become addicted to other people's journeys. And yeah. it's definitely something where it's so fast gratification. Like you're watching these short videos and you're instantly like, wow. I'm satisfied, move on to the next thing on your For You page. And I don't want to just be the next thing on the For You page, you know? I want to come out here on people's screens and be the person that they stop at, go to their page, learn some things. And yeah, it's it's tough because you want to portray this message, but also people are just there to see you jump off cool things. So yeah. it's a hard balance to figure out what you want to post and how to get off your phone, really. <laughs> so where would you wish to jump from? 
Ooh, good question. Um, we Don't tell me the Cartier Bridge. Don't tell me that. <laughs> Don't tell me that, that bridge. No, no, no. <laughs> um, it's always in my dream to go to Paris. So to jump in front of the Eiffel Tower would be, like, imagine that in the back of my pictures. Just the Eiffel Tower, me in the air. Like, literally, it's going to be a dream. So hopefully. You know, it's possible. That. You just told me you went to Dubai. Don't tell yeah. me you can't go to Paris. <laughs> <laughs> Well, I won't release any secrets, but this may be in our near future, and I'm so excited. Okay, I'm I'm pumped about it. I I, I like the the video and the picture, and I'm 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 yeah. message you. Was it fun? You know, was it fun? Exactly. You better catch up with me after that one. Of course. Okay. So now I'm I'm not gonna say my weight, but I'm around 225 now. I was I was I was heavy before, but now I'm 225, uh -huh. and I can't swim properly. I swim to survive. If I follow you to that high stuff mm -hmm. and I jump, do I die? Um, off my height, no. Like 20 <laughs> meters is pretty, like it's going to hurt if you don't have any form. But the men do 27 meters and that has a very high risk of going badly. So <laughs> <laughs> I like the way you put it, though. You, you, yeah. you, know, you, you didn't want to say, Kev, you're not going to make it. But OK, so <laughs> I'm going to try it. I'm going to try the 20. So when you jump, OK, if you could put one song in your head while you're jumping, which, what song you're picking? Ooh, this is a tough question. Ah. I always pick like flying songs or. What do you mean flying songs? Like songs that have like. Up so high, you know what I mean. <laughs> <laughs> what's the name of the song? What, what, what's my guy JC? Okay, tell me. You know, I don't even know who sings this one, but to the moon, like fly me to the moon. You know. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know that song. I want you to sing it. So, so when the karaoke is gonna be open back in Montreal, <laughs> I'm picking you up, and we're gonna sing the flying to the moon thing. <laughs> No, it's totally a remix. So like, I have no clue. But I'll put myself a note. I'm putting a note. I need to. I need to. Uh, flying to the moon, right? Flying to the moon. <laughs> put a note. They're all over my Instagram reels, so it's in there. I promise. That's funny. So that's the song you're picking. Oh yeah. Okay. Okay. <laughs> I, I thought you would put like uh, some Taylor Swift. I, I, I'm a huge Taylor Swift fan. I got I mean, a fan and a teardrop on my guitar. That's my shit. <laughs> <laughs> I love that too, but you got to hype yourself up a bit more if you're oh, jumping. That's true. That's true. That's true. That's true. Okay, I'll think about what song I would put. But uh, so, so do you have like high school friends or college friends? Are they going crazy seeing everything you're doing right now? Um, For sure. I mean... The real friends that I have know to treat me just like a regular human because at some point it gets to the, like, you start recognizing people are just talking to you to mm -hmm. use you for your clout, mm -hmm. you know, but it's important. Clout chasers. Yeah, like, back it up. I worked hard for this. <laughs> yeah, damn right. Tell them. Yeah, but I'm always kind. Like, if anyone comes up and they want to have a conversation, like, I want to talk to them about their own brave journeys and stuff, like, I'm always open to that, but... Friends that never used to talk to me before and now come into my life, I'm like, back it up. <laughs> yeah, you got to let them know. You tell them. You tell yeah. them, Kev told me to get, get lost. <laughs> Kev told me, get lost. I would tell, <laughs> tell <them> you. <laughs> okay, so, um, so we did that. Okay, which person mm -hmm. that, you, uh, that you like in the world, you would want to see jump? Like, do you want to see, what's his, what's his name, the Spider-Man kid, uh, Olan Tom? Do you wish to see <laughs> Olan Tom dive just like oh you do? Oh, my gosh. Who I would picking? love that. Honestly, I feel like there's so many, like, celebrities that, I low-key want to see Drake jump. Like, that's my guy. And I think it'd be so funny to test his limit, because he's an icon, obviously. And... <laughs> You know, I think that'd be such a crazy collab. I'm from Canada. He's from Canada. It's going to yeah. happen. It's gonna okay, happen. we're going to put it out there. Dr Drizzy, <laughs> Drizzy, Obrey, <laughs> Obrey. We, we, need, we need you. I called him at his first name. He's never going to answer now. But <laughs> we, <laughs> we need you to jump with Molly. Jump with Molly, <laughs> Obrey. <laughs> that would really be so funny. Just to see him freaking out, you know? Thank you.
If you want to make sure that this pod lives on forever, forever, ever, forever, ever, buy our gear at zonekr.ca. Every gear sans restriction at zonekr.ca or just follow us on Instagram sans restriction. Let's go back to that talk with our girl, Molly Carlson. How many Red Bull cans you drink a day? <laughs> Oof. Obviously 20. No. Ah! Uh, Michael literally... don't want to lose that sponsorship, eh? <laughs> <laughs> um, I, like, honestly, if I drink a Red Bull, like, I am way too jittery to even yeah. be calm up there. So, to me, it's more of, like, an after celebration. Jeez. Like, once I'm done competing, get the Red Bull in, and you can be up all night celebrating, but definitely not before. <laughs> okay, so the, 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 um, the uh, com- uh, diving communities... Do they celebrate hard? Because I know the snowboarders are, are crazy. I know hockey play thing get crazy. Football. Oh, yeah. Oh, well, oh, I never that. knew this until I entered this extreme sport. And I was like, this is what people are talking about. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so what's the best party you've been in? Honestly, well, COVID was my first season. So That's it was true. tricky true. for a while. But our last one in Italy, it was my birthday. We were out in Polignano Amare just with like, these like famous rappers from Italy were just in the DJ booth with them. Like, it's crazy the things you do. So, so what was the what's what's the best city you've been in? Ooh, I would say like that one was gorgeous, Italy. Um, but I think this season again, I can't release the schedule, but there's some really cool cities coming up, and I oh, you already know. People, yeah, I hope people can come watch. So <laughs> okay, okay. Oh, okay, so we can come watch. I'm coming and watch then. Yeah. Okay, so you, you, that, that's a okay. I, oh, okay. I, okay. If there's ever one in Montreal, if I don't see your face, we're gonna be upset. <laughs> okay, look, I'm I'm gonna have uh, a cardboard over oh, my yeah. head, and I'm gonna write on it. Aubrey's not here, but I am. <laughs> <laughs> Literally, would that would motivate me to win the competition? Okay. Telling you, if y'all die in Montreal, I would be. I'm gonna have this one cardboard. <laughs> Aubrey's not here, but I am. <laughs> so old, poor, we're coming. <laughs> yeah. So, do you watch uh, other sports, or do you? Uh, so, what? What's what's your your viewing habits are? I really got into watching other extreme sports this season. Like some of them don't even have like real competition. Like skydiving is something I watch all the time. I just went for the first time in Dubai and it was crazy. Oh no. But you like stuff like that, that I've never really been, because I grew up in an Olympic sport, right? Diving. And all you see is like the Olympic one, gymnastics and figure skating and all these, like they're amazing. But Extreme sports are just another level that I never thought about watching. So here we are learning about a lot. <laughs> yo, this is crazy. So, so, so when when you call your family and you said, "Yo, I'm a, I'm a dive of cliff," the, the, were they happy or they said, "Man, sit your ass down." <laughs> my mom literally said, "I will never open my eyes." watching you do this and i go (laughs) (laughs) she's like i have 100 trust in your coach you do whatever he tells you to do but your girl will not be opening her eyes oh (laughs) that's funny she looks cute that's funny i hope she'll be in montreal so we can watch you dive well actually she came and watched me do it once and she went viral because she was freaking out and it was so funny <laughs> okay so so the first one was was is gonna be uh Aubrey's not here but i am the second one will be mommy open your damn eyes <laughs> <laughs> Let me be- oh, sorry. Oh, who's doing that who's calling is it Aubrey? Who, who's calling ah, why can't i move it's, it it's okay it's a good song there we go me and my uh, guys when that song plays we're we're dancing on it We're We're just, if you yeah. can make my mom open her eyes and watch this, I will. That would be amazing. That's the goal. Kitty, if you're watching this, you're opening your what, eyes. What's, what's her name? Her name is Kathleen, but we call her Kitty. Okay, Kitty, Kitty. My name is Kev. You don't know me, but I know you. <laughs> and I know you're listening right now because everything your daughter is doing, you want to know. So I want you to know that I support you in not watching your dive, but you need to open your eyes. Open your eyes to her greatness and don't make her win some uh, uh, Red Bull cans. 
that's all we want. Is the that's all we want. That's all we want. Um. So, have you tried other sports? Um, I'm gonna say I'm like the laziest, least adventurous person out there. Yeah, Surprise coming from the girl me. that dies from cliffs. Okay. <laughs> Yeah. I'm like that's that's enough like fear and adrenaline for me to last a lifetime. So I will sit in my bed and binge <laughs> on Netflix rather than get out there and try anything else. But I should probably start. What should what do you recommend? I don't know hockey. <sighs> me on skates sounds like a concussion ready to count. <laughs> <laughs> We're gonna work on it. I have some. Oh, put a helmet. We're gonna find a way. <laughs> she said, "Look like a concussion." I'm shook. <laughs> okay, so so um, damn, you made me forget my next question. That was a good question. <laughs> oh yeah, what are you watching on Netflix? Are you watching Casa del Papel? Is you watching well, uh, Swat? I just started Cheer. Um, I didn't know there was so much oh, yeah. drama on this, but it's yeah. good. Have you oh, ever done Cheer? God. Like, I had to pause my show to come on this podcast. So. You know. <laughs> <laughs> Shout out, cheers. But have you ever done some? No, I haven't. That's why I'm like so into It's very similar. Like any judge sport, like we all connect in a way. And it's like interesting. And seeing them like season two, they all blew up on Instagram. And now they're like athletes with social media following. So I'm excited to watch it. It'll be I'm, good. I, I did some cheer for one week. No way. Yeah, I was a back. I, they call you the back. I was the dude behind. Yeah. And then threw the girl up. I was like, man, I can throw people. I'm strong. She fell on my face. I said, I'm not coming back. I'm not coming back. I don't, I don't need this right now. Why are you, no. why are you falling on my face like that? No way. <laughs> nah, I did it for one week. One week <laughs> high school. Ah, I never come back. <laughs> um, everyone listening, comment if you want to see this video of him doing cheer. <laughs> uh, it's never going to happen. It was like 10 years ago. So, so there's no, there's no, there's no videos of it. But, <laughs> But no, no, and she fell on my face. I was like, I play football. This, this yeah. I'm, I'm a tough man. But damn, somebody fall on your face. It's not it's fun. <laughs> it's not fun. <laughs> okay, so, so, uh, um, so uh, when when uh, when Lizanne came on the pod, uh, <laughs> she said like she was diving out of somebody else's backyard. Okay, like one of the places she dived from was. Literally a ba- backyard of somebody else. Uh, <laughs> did you die from someplace sketchy? Someplace you're like, man, the heck am I doing here? Oh, yeah. So get ready for the story time. We okay. are in Italy and we walk out and they're like, oh, you're not actually diving from the platform for the first dive. You're going to go to someone's balcony. And we were like, excuse me? <laughs> so we walk in this house and everyone's like, hello, welcome. And- <laughs> Whatever in Italian, I don't know what they were saying. And they were like, come, come, jump from my balcony. And we were like, excuse me? <laughs> this was the slipperiest, most gorgeous piece of marble I have ever seen. When I tell you jumping 20 meters out of someone's balcony, that was like super rich. I was like, <laughs> something's going to go wrong here. And first dive, feet slip somehow make it in the water safely but oh my gosh <laughs> this is crazy it's, you need to learn italian you go you go buongiorno principessa as a, a high princess maybe i wouldn't have slipped if i knew that yeah you would yeah exactly you say <laughs> can, can you can, can you make sure that i don't slip but um okay so did you ever do, uh, dove or whatever the word is in english and then hurt yourself did it ever happen yet I haven't like belly flopped or anything. Um, Let's knock the- on wood. Knock on wood. We don't. We we knock. I knock. I knock for you twice. Thank you so much. But the thing about high diving is like the better entries that you do, the more it hurts you. So my knees actually just get destroyed when I like make no splash. Mm. So it's kind of like a in practice. I'm like, do I want to fully get a 10 out of 10 on this, or do I? You know, put in half the effort. That's get a little crazy. Of that. <laughs> That's crazy. So, yeah, you can really only do it like maximum five times a week. and six- A week? Yeah. Wow. Like off the 20 meter, like impacts, like 
shouldn't be doing too many. And, and and do you lift? Do you lift weight? Do you like what's the other training you do? Do you, do you run outside? Do you box? <laughs> um, you definitely do like conditioning and weight training because most of it is preventative. Um, like you want to just ensure that all your muscle groups are hit in case your leg mm, just see, split see. open in the Atlantic Ocean. You That's need that tightness to be there so yeah i think just having an overall level of fitness is crucial for this sport <laughs> so who who you're making a tiktok with next who which celebrity you're like man if 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 i connect with this girl or this dude we we can blow up on tiktok for for another 60 million views on the video <laughs> um well don't tell me no. aubrey aubrey's not listening tell me another name no, no, no. <laughs> My favorite TikToker ever is Victoria Garrick. Um, she is massive in the athletic and mental health community. And I want to get into that department. Like I have the extreme sports adrenaline junkies like all over my page, but I want to shift more into that how to love yourself in sport. And women especially were so hard on ourselves and judge sports. And like if I could do a TikTok with her, it would it would be game changing. You know, she's That's cool. an icon and I I want to get into that field for sure. We we're gonna tag her. Yes. We're gonna we post are. this. We we ruin that people here. We, <laughs> we- <laughs> <laughs> Victoria, if you're listening, we're gonna real post this hashtag real post. We're doing a TikTok together and self love. <laughs> yeah, I, you are an amazing person. Uh, I hope people that uh, that are listening to this had a, a, um, the, the same amount of fun that I have doing it. And uh, I wish you all the best. And I wish to be able to see you dive in Montreal because I'm not going to Paris. Have you seen the number of cases there? They're going uh, nuts. They lost it over there. We like we're too tight here over there. It's a, a it's a buffet. It's a COVID <laughs> buffet. <laughs> free for all over there. It's a free for all. So I want you to uh, enjoy your your time uh, while being in the quote unquote vacation because of COVID and kill it next season. <laughs> Thank you so much. I'm so excited. <laughs> It was fun doing this. Okay, thank you so much. Okay, don't move. I'm going to end the record. Oh, I forgot. I have one more question. He's back. Damn. Damn, I forgot. That's a question I ask everybody. I forgot. I'm ready. Okay, so you, um, if you could dive with five people and then you die, you just you, you dive with those people and then you die. Okay, so one at a time, you party at It's Italy under marble, slippery thing, and then it's over. Who are you picking? You need five. This is so intense. Yes, um, it's the last question also. <laughs> I feel like you want to be like, oh, my family. But like low-key, I feel like there's some people I'd want to jump with before I yeah, die. You, you, know? you can pick, uh, what's his name? The Jonas Brothers guy. He's pretty. <laughs> pick him. <laughs> I would pick, ooh, Okay, my mom needs to be there. She needs to jump with me because she'll Daddy. die. She'll die no matter what. Kitty yeah. will, even if she jumped now, she would probably pass away. But it's okay, well. <laughs> so, so, so Kitty's going to be there, not watching Kitty. you jump. Kitty, my sister, my boyfriend, they're all right there. Okay, so you got three. <laughs> yeah, and then the last two got to be crazy. Yeah, mm. big Denzel Washington. And I want to see the men talk before jumping. I want to see, okay. Oh, this is tough. I want to see Kylie Kardashian up there. <laughs> I, 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 I would be the one pushing, though. <laughs> oh, yeah. Like, I, I would just push her see. like this. No, no, just fall. Just fall. Like, how fun. And then, hmm, you know, maybe, I don't know. I don't want to be controversial here, but... What do you mean controversial? Pick one. <laughs> What do you mean? There ain't no controversial nothing. You die. <laughs> oh, my gosh. This is so crazy. You, um, got, you got four. You need one more. I know. Tough question. Of like, course. And this is the last one. I forgot to ask you. You know what? The last slot is for you. Because... That's a lie. That's a lie. <laughs> Don't lie to me like this. <laughs> You're jumping, and I know you won't be able to swim when you come back up, so <laughs> it's over. It's over. <laughs> <laughs> She said you're jumping, and you ain't coming back. <laughs> oh, that's awesome. That's the best way to end this podcast. Thank you so oh much again for your time. Thank All you. Right. <laughs> 
Yeah, I had a lot of fun with Molly. She's great. Um, whenever it comes to Montreal, uh, we'll, we'll be there cheering and, and, and making sure that we uh, um, let her know that uh, she matters a lot to us. And uh, uh, she's, uh, she's in the pod family. She's in, uh, in the crew in the gang in the community and uh, she's uh, welcome to come back on the pod anytime she's uh, uh, one of our pod uh, she's one of our pod sister and uh, we will always uh, have a place for her in here uh, next just want to let you know that uh, we're bringing back English Fridays yes but um, I know a lot of people are asking me for girls from Team Canada it's coming uh, Team Canada Hockey it's coming Give us time. Give them time. They just announced the goddamn team. Can we let them enjoy something without wanting to put a microphone under their nose at the, at the second that something happens? Uh, I speak. I speak to those girls almost every day. Most of the girls almost every day. So if if when the time comes, we'll we'll, we'll chat with the girls. I'm not afraid that they will come on the podcast. Either it's uh, before the Olympics or after. For me, after the Olympics is the best. So, uh, but um, we have a lot of good things coming in the upcoming uh, weeks. We got the uh, Black History Month coming also. Um, so we, we have a lot of good stuff for you on our Instagram page at uh, Sans Restriction um, and where it stopped. It stopped. Oh, it didn't stop. Okay, so my my Mac is so full of stuff. Not porn, not porn, but videos and stuff that I'm putting on Sarah's restriction. It, it fucks my thing now. Damn. Uh, what I was saying is, uh, yeah, just just uh, follow us on on Instagram at Sarah's restriction. Uh, we'll, uh, you'll have all the infos uh, on our guests and everything we want to do for Black History Month. I'm working hard on this and I want it to be a special to, for everybody. I want us to learn more about our history. Um, and um, it's not about, oh, we, 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 it's a month against racism. Nah, it's not about against, it's not a month against racism. It's a month, it's a month, sorry, about celebrating our history and celebrating our people and inspiring the next generation. So uh, that's That's what we want to do. That's what we're going to do the next month, uh, month of February. We have almost everything in place. The next two weeks will be uh, heavy and uh, loaded for me. But uh, I want to make sure that uh, we have at least two or three good English Fridays um, for our Anglophone people. And I want to make sure that we honor this month the right way. So, uh, yeah, it's over. I'm done. Thank you, Molly. I love you. Thank you, Bruno, partner of the pod. Thank you, you, part of the people. And uh, yeah, let me take a nap. Yo, I ate some La Cage, casual sport. I bought myself the Blitz Burger. That shit's so big. And I bought myself eight chicken wings and fries. I crushed that shit right after the interview with Molly. I think it took me 10 minutes to eat everything. I was watching SWAT on TV, SWAT on Netflix, and now I feel so heavy. I want to take a nap, but I don't want to take a nap because you know you don't nap after you eat. You don't eat a nap. But I think I'm going to make an exception, man, because damn, I'm, I feel heavy. I, damn.